Hello and welcome to this new tutorial for about how to use UGT and this one is going to be super easy too. We are, well, it's actually going to be a little bit complex, I'm not going to lie. We'll see how can we add a new platform, okay? And the first thing we're going to need is we're going to go to Ultra Game Template and we're going to search, search for platform. And once we search for platform, we have ha here two things that we need. One is platform kind, we're going to open this. And the other one is UGT buttons platforms enabled. And we're going to put this one here too, okay? Then we have platform kind. And in platform kind, okay, uh, here we have all the platforms that UGT supports. So we are going to add a new enumerator. And just for testing purposes, okay, we're going to select here PS5 underscore pro, okay? And we're going to save. And then in this enum, I know that uh, changing enums while you, they are implemented is a little bit dangerous in Real Engine, but believe me, this method is totally safe. So here we're going to also add a new variable, and we are going to put here also PS5 Pro. And this is fantastic. Okay, we have PS Pro here, uh, and we have PS Pro here, that's fantastic. And the first thing that we need to do is tell uh, UGT that, hey, we are also configuring this platform. So let's go to the game instance, UGT game instance, okay? And let's use PS5 of space. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to set this here. And I'm going to put this here because we have to be tidy. And then we're going to say here PS4, 5, Pro, and here I'm going to set a configure PS5 Pro. Fantastic. And again, you should configure whatever you need here. So, for example, in PS4, we want 120 frames. I don't know. This is something that you should configure yourself. Okay. Maybe we put everything to ultra or even cinematic. That's up to you on, on, and the capabilities of your game. But the first super easy step is we need to go here and here we now have a new ps5 pro disconnected thing so let's make a new function which is going to be configure ps5 pro and yeah you guessed it we are going to connect this with this fantastic now that this is connected i'm going to compile we are going to save and believe it or not here we are done there are a couple of things that we need to change and this is going to be fantastic. So the first things that we need to change is we are going to go to our launcher map. So UGT underscore launcher map. And here in the launcher map, uh, there's a new function that is going to exist, which is perhaps the most important function of the entire UGT. And here in the launcher blueprint, we're going to go to edit in blueprints, okay? And this is just a begin play. You did showcase something to showcase UGT. Don't worry about that. But if we continue, this is the first thing that happens in UGT. And look at this. Literally, the first thing that happens once you launch UGT is we set UGT platform. And what does it mean? This is a function that uh, grabs its function. And if we are not in development and PC to test the platform, okay? But if it grabs the get platform name and this is a function native from Unreal Engine that actually uh, returns the name of the platform itself and this returns a string and you need to know the string name of that platform okay I believe the PS5 Pro one you need, we need to make a new case of course and configure it to the name of the platform this you can access this in C++ okay to see the name of all platforms but in that case we can say PS5 five uh, pro i think it's like this okay and now we have this new string and we have to do is once we do that we copy this over here and this is our own enum because it's easier to work with enum than strings in <laughs> all always and now we are going to set this enum to ps5 pro and we're going to connect this with this and this need a reference a target and we're going to target the game config that asset. That's fantastic. Okay, we have everything uh, 
configured that way. And if you want to try, if uh, you're on Android and you want a different mobile, you will have to implement your own function here, as I have done with the Steam Deck. Hey, I'm on, I'm, am I on a Steam Deck? We will see this in another tutorial, okay? And then we choose if we are in PC or a Steam Deck. This is the place to do that, okay? Okay, so we are almost done, but there is a little problem. So if I go to default game data asset and I select a PS5 Pro, I'm going to go now to the main menu. Okay. And you'll see the problem that we have. If I go to settings, oh, keyboard and mouse control is here. And that should not be here. Video is here and that should not be here. Only console video. So... How can we fix that? This is where things get, I wouldn't say complicated, but if you remember, okay, let me open this class over here. Here we have a template, uh, uh, sorry, sorry, a uh, platform. And we have the UGT buttons platform enable. We're going to copy this name because I don't remember where it was, that function. And then we're going to go to edit, finding blueprints, and we're going to input this name when it uh, ends indexing all the blueprints. And now we have here in the UGT Nav Manager, okay, uh, we have the set UGT style and navigation, and we have a big function over here, okay, which is the function that is going to make our buttons know if it's enabled or not in every platform. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to copy the last branch over here, okay? And I'm going to connect this boolean to this boolean here. I'm going to connect PS5 Pro to this new branch. And if it's false, I'm going to go up here. And if it's true, I'm going to go here. So what this does, it, it this takes care of setting the buttons uh, visible or not depending on the platform but if i compile this we have a new problem i don't have any button why is that because by default this button is configured by uh, to false everywhere so if i go to ultra game template and i go to menu okay and then i go to widgets and then i go to ugt button and then i go to graph okay in the right then down here we have the enabled in property and with the enabled in property if i expand the default value okay we have that by default all my buttons on ps5 pros are disabled so what we want to do is want to enable this over here okay and once uh, once that is enabled this is super easy actually because now i have all the buttons back in the PS5 testing mode. Remember, we are testing PS5 Pro. Okay. And now what we want to do is go to the menus, and this is something manual that you need to do, and set up some things in the menu to hide some buttons. Essentially, what you need to do is, for example, in UGD settings menu, you need to go here, and you need to hide the PC controls buttons. So we expand enabled in and PS5 Pro, we hide this, and PC Video, we don't want that one in PS5 Pro, so we hide that here too, and if, I'm compi if I compile, we are almost done, I promise, now in settings, I only have controls and console video, which is fantastic, okay, but if I go to console video, Okay, I have video mode performance and switch performance, which is not something I really want. So we should also access a UGT video, video, video. Where is console video? Video, console video settings. Okay, and here series X performance. We don't want that in PS5 Pro and switch performance. We don't want that neither in PS5 Pro. And with that, we are actually done and my buttons are working so yeah that's it i hope you like this tutorial and yeah see you in the next one